Hey, how you doing? This is Mr. Clifford with ACDC Econ, Key Econ Concepts in 60 Seconds. Today's a hard one. We're going to talk about why the marginal cost curve is U-shaped. It goes down and it goes back up. Now let's back up. Your students or your uh, teacher already taught you about the law of diminishing marginal returns. As you add additional inputs, right, variable resources, to fixed resources, the additional output eventually will start to fall. You need that concept to understand this concept. Okay, let's jump into it in 60 seconds. The first thing we're going to talk about is the marginal cost curve. As you know, marginal cost goes down and up. A lot of students have a hard time with that. Pay attention. Here's why. The reason why is because of the marginal product curve and the law of diminishing marginal returns. As I hire more and more workers, right, this is quantity of labor, as I hire more workers, the additional output from each worker starts to go up because of specialization. So this worker starts to specialize and eventually the additional output from each worker starts to go down. The reason why uh, the marginal cost looks like this is because it has to do with this. I'm hiring these workers. They add additional five or an additional ten. Let's say they add an additional ten. The next worker adds an additional twenty. Well, those units are extremely cheap. The additional cost of those units are very small because the worker, I only hired one guy, his additional output was as high. Right? So the marginal cost of those units start to fall. When each worker adds less and less than the previous worker, well, I still have to pay the worker his wage, but the additional output from him is less and less. So the additional cost of those units is more and more. So again, as MP is going up, marginal cost is falling. As marginal product starts to fall, marginal cost starts going back up. Great, that's the key concept, done. Bonus round. If you don't like this, let me show you some numbers that might actually help. I think this will actually help you take a look. This is quantity of labor hiring one, two, and three workers. This is the total product that comes with hiring those workers. I, I, I hire nobody, I get no output. Okay, I hire one worker, five, two workers, 15, three workers, 17, and I'm not gonna continue this down. I'm just gonna show you the concept, so pay attention. Good, the marginal product, well, this first worker adds an additional five, this next worker adds an additional 10. This next worker adds an additional 2. And the reason why is the law of diminishing marginal returns. So think of this one. This is 5, this is 10, and this is 2. I'm trying to show you the concept. The next thing I want to do is talk about total cost. Well, I'm going to say that the wage in this case is the only resource, right? The only uh, variable resource, no fixed resources. And we'll say the wage is $10. I want to hire a worker, I've got to pay $10. Well, I know workers, there's no cost, there's no fixed cost. One worker is going to be 10, good. two workers is going to be 20, three workers is going to be 30. Good, are you with me so far? Does this make sense? The next step is to calculate the marginal cost. We'll take a look. Marginal cost is the change in total cost divided by the change in output, not input, in output. So in this situation, I gain my total cost went up from zero to 10, so it's 10 but it's divided by the additional output that I got from those workers. And I got those workers at, take a look at five, right? So if you see 10 divided by five, the marginal cost of that unit, of those five units was two. Again, the reason why is I had to pay a guy $10. I got an additional five units, so each one cost an additional two. Now let's see what happens when this next worker adds even more than the previous worker, right? When marginal product is increasing. Now, well, the change in total cost is still 10, right? It went up by 10, but the change in total quantity or the change in output went up by 10. So now it's $1. So before these units cost me $2 to produce the additional cost. Next one, the additional cost is an additional $1. All right, let's look at this last one. I, hired a, I had to hire another worker. In this case, we went from 15 output now to 17. So the additional cost went up by $10. I had to pay the guy $10 to get him to work for me. But the thing was, is I only got an additional two output from him. And if I only got an additional two output from him, those units are costing me a fortune, right? If you see, the marginal cost of those units is five. If I hire another worker and he adds even just one more output, let's go ahead and do that. Take a look. I hire another worker. He adds only one more output, right? His marginal product is one. What's going to be the marginal cost of that unit? Well, take a look, right? I hire $40, change was 10, right? I only got an additional one output. It's 10 bucks, $10. I had to hire a worker. The additional output was only one more unit. That unit cost me $10, right? And the reason why, one more time, when marginal product is going up, you can see marginal cost is falling. When marginal product is going down, marginal cost is going up. Hopefully that makes sense. Until next time.